So I'm skipping and then shoo, slip into a split. The first thing I do is I pop up, cry, and run straight to my mom. What's going on, y'all? It's your girl Tajana J back with another video, and I'm super excited because this one's just a tad bit different. Those of y'all who know me, who follow me on Instagram, I've been on a cleanse, but when I was actively on Instagram, I used to post my devotion every single day. And I did that because I wanted to invite people into God's word in any way that I could, um, even if that started with just a little devotion. So people loved it. Like they would always reach out like, you missed the day. Where's the devotion? And so yesterday I came across a devotion and it literally spoke to me in the most beautiful way. And I was like, maybe I should put this on my YouTube channel and share my thoughts and see if they like this. So I'm putting it out there because it was put on my heart too. But also, if this is something that you enjoy, let me know and I will do more of these. But um, this devotion is actually from a book called Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. And um, I'm going to read it to you. Also pop it up on the screen so you can read along. But listen to this. Listen. Approach problems with a light touch. When your mind moves toward a problem area, you tend to focus on that situation so intensely that you lose sight of me. You pit yourself against the difficulty as if you had to conquer it immediately. Your mind gears up for battle and your body becomes tense and anxious. Unless you achieve total victory, you feel defeated. There is a better way. When a problem starts to overshadow your thoughts, bring this matter to me. Talk with me about it and look at it in the light of my presence. This puts some much needed space between you and your concern, enabling you to see from my perspective. You will be surprised at the results. Sometimes you may even laugh at yourself for being so serious about something so insignificant. You will always face trouble in this life, but more importantly, you will always have me with you, helping you to handle whatever you encounter. Approach problems with a light touch by viewing them in my revealing light. So y'all, when I was reading this, it hit home because I had this huge problem that hit and it was to a point to where I was like, I, the only thing I can do is trust you. But when I was reading it, I thought about a time when I was in Bilo. If you know what Bilo is, it's a grocery store, okay? Bilo, okay? Bring you back to that. So I was in Bilo as a little kid. I can't remember if I was skipping in the store, like playing around with my sister, but I know that I was skipping, right? And I didn't notice that there was water on the floor. And so I'm skipping and then shoo, slip into a split. Like, again, I'm a kid. So I slip into a split and I'm in pain, however, the first thing I do is I pop up, cry, and run straight to my mom. I ran and I was like, mommy. She was like, what happened? I was like, I was like, oh, oh, oh. And I noticed that that was a pattern for me. Anytime that I had a problem, I didn't call my mama. I'm calling my mama, calling my mama. I called my mom every single time and there was no problem that I saw that my mom couldn't solve, like at all. Like I remember, um, sitting down and I'm like, that's what it means in Matthew 18 when he's like, you know, the disciples are asking who's going to be in charge or who's going to pause. Let me grab, let me, let me grab the Bible. In Matthew chapter 18, verse one through three said at the time the disciples came to Jesus and asked, who then is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a little child to him and placed the child among them. And he said, truly, I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. It brought me to tears because I remember um, putting my profile picture as my baby picture because I saw a sermon that talked about being childlike. And it hit because like I said, a huge problem hit and I'm so used to, or growing up, I was so used to bringing it to my mom. This problem was so big, I could my mom couldn't help me. And this is the very first huge problem like really big problem that my mom couldn't help me with. And so I just started weeping and I just started apologizing and asking God for forgiveness for putting my mom at such a high pedestal and putting her in this place that she cannot feel. Like I gave her these shoes to feel and she's like, I'll run to God. I can't run it. You know, like you can't run to me for everything. And it taught me in that moment to trust God and run to him for my problems and become that little child. Like when you think about God and his presence and his power and our limitation, Remember when you were kids, like you didn't worry about, well, 
not everyone's situation is the same is the same but majority of the children they didn't worry about is mommy and daddy gonna pay the bills is mommy and daddy gonna put fr uh, food in the fridge is mommy and daddy gonna pick me up is mommy and like they weren't worried about the situations around them woke up gotta go to school i'm gonna play at daycare i'm gonna go home i'm gonna have food i'm gonna have this i'm gonna have that and the everyday life was just mommy and daddy got it mommy and daddy got it mommy and daddy got it so when i read this and it's like become like little children my father has a handle. God has a handle. He can see from a different perspective than me. So he knows all the pieces. I can only see this little limited piece. And if I just give it to him and just understand that he is good and he has my best interests at heart, I'm just going to go through life one day at a time, controlling what I can. And when I say controlling what I can, understanding that it's not in my control, but doing what I can, not even controlling what I can, but doing what I can to progress move forward stay in alignment with god but giving it to him like my father got it period so as you meditate on the devotion that i just read and become like little children think back to when you were a child you know you see kids falling and and they're in the street they fall and they run mommy daddy like running straight to god when you have problems saves you from that anxiety and frustration and oh my gosh why is this happening it's like god got it god i'm your child i'm i'm gonna be child like in this situation it is what it is so that's what i got from it and i hope that this blessed you be a child like every time i look at that little baby picture of me it just reminds me like go back to that little girl go back to that little girl who Mommy can solve everything, but instead of mommy, give it to God. I hope this blessed you again, and until next time, bye, friends.